I'm talking about my reading plans, what I've been reading, what I'm currently reading. Um, so I just have my grades up so I can just make sure I don't forget anything. And I also have made a bookstagram account. My username will be on screen. So over there I will be posting more reviews. I've only got a few up so far. But um, on there I've obviously got more like photos. So with my reviews on there I've got photos. And like other bookish related photos on there as well. I try to make them look as like pretty and like magical and aesthetically pleasing as possible. So if you want to go follow me on it, you can. But I want to talk to you about the books that I've read. I'm just going to tell you guys like my very recent reads. So I'll literally first tell you the book that I finished the other night um, at like 2 in the morning. It was so fun though me and my mum had like a reading party. Like we just both stayed up reading our books. And then yeah I finished it at 2am. Um, I had like really nice rain on a window playing in the background like dark academia style. I'll have a link to that one in my description box below. Such a nice video. So glad I found it. But the book that I finished was My Policeman by Bethan Roberts. A full review is up on my Goodreads, so feel free to go check that out if you'd like. I will be talking about it a little bit now, though. So, I decided to annotate this, uh, and I'm really glad that I did. As you can see, there's quite a few moments in there that I wanted to annotate. Um, now, like I said, I've never annotated a book before, um, just because I've always been apprehensive, like, about sticking things in and things like that. And I did find that if you put sticky notes over, like, the text, it will lift up some of the text and peel it off. So, what I did instead was, is that, hold on, why can't I get one to stop? I, like, put the sticky note near sort of the sentence or the phrase that I was annotating. Um, so I line it up and then I just cut off the edge. Um, so I didn't put the sticky note over the text. I put it on the edge of the page, lying it, lining it up to the sentence or quote. And then I just cut off the edge so they didn't stick out too much. Um, and yeah, I just really like this length. Like it's not too much. But yeah, I won't be annotating every single book. Having said that, I am annotating the book I'm currently reading. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not going to be annotating every single book. Especially like my really super pretty books because I just like I want to keep them as they are I don't want to have like tabs sticking out and stuff and if there's ever any like main quotes or moments that I want to remember from books I don't annotate I'll just like note that moment down on like my phone or in my journal or something like that so I can always go back to it so my policeman I gave it a four and a half star rating out of five I really enjoyed this it was definitely a really good book I'm gonna be completely honest I even put this in my goodreads review main reason that I read this is because Harry Styles. I can't lie. I can't lie. I'm very excited to see the screen um, like adaptation of this. I'm very excited to see how it translates to screen. I'm excited to see what's what of the book is going to be in the movie. Like how much, like how similar it's going to be to the movie. So yeah, I'm very excited to see Harry play Tom. My thoughts on the book itself. Um, basically, if you don't know, this book is set in the 1950s, um, and it revolves, the story revolves around three main characters, Marion, Patrick, and Tom. So, Marion meets Tom. Tom is the brother of one of her friends, Sylvie. Um, and Marion is, like, enamoured by him. She wants to be with him. Like, she really, really likes him. And so they interact, like, a little bit, um, but not too much. And then after that, he starts giving her swimming lessons. And they interact a bit more um, and then it turns like into something else but it's a very like slow burn like it takes a bit of time and then Tom meets Patrick um, so Patrick runs the local museum Tom has like a moment where he's like oh I like Patrick so in the 1950s and it even says this on the blurb so it's not a major spoiler but in the 1950s it was a lot safer for Tom to marry Marion um, because in the 1950s um, people of the LGBTQ plus community just were not accepted and there were a lot of consequences and problems and troubles if you were found out and yeah it, there were a lot of sad elements in that way because it was just really disheartening to see the treatment of the LGBTQ plus community people like what they faced and what they went through were really quite awful but yes so that's that second thing all the characters made some decisions and actions that not a huge fan of. Marion, I found myself getting her, I found myself getting like annoyed and mad at Marion the most throughout the book just because her actions and her decisions and the things she did I just not agree with. There's one thing in particular that she did um, which I will put a timestamp of when to skip to because this is quite a spoiler so I'll put a timestamp if you intend on reading this but 
one of the main things she does that just really made me angry is when she wrote a letter about Patrick and sent it to the head like boss of the museum because it just caused so many problems so many consequences so many dramas like it was just so bad it was a ripple effect what she did it oh my gosh it just made me so angry and I was just like no please don't do that please don't do that but like I said obviously Marion isn't the only one that sort of made mistakes and bad decisions Tom and Patrick did as well I don't know if it's because my bias and because Harry's playing Tom but Tom's kind of my favorite character <laughs> But, however, we didn't get a Tom POV in this book. So, there's Marion's POV and there's Patrick's POV. Now, Patrick's POV is written as diary entry, so it's really easy and quick to speed through. It does not take long to read his portions of the book. However, it goes back and forth between their POVs, and there isn't one for Tom, which I was really disappointed by because I'd love to see things from his perspective, his point of view, and see what was going on in his mind and how he was dealing with situations. Because we only see that from two other people. So, yeah. Apart from that, I really enjoyed this book, but I did give it a four and a half star rating. Due to, like, and just mainly Marion, like, and the things that she did, I was just, like, annoyed and angry. Um, and also Tom not having a POV. I wish he had a POV. But apart from that, I really enjoyed this book. I definitely recommend it. I'm so glad that I've read this prior to the movie coming out. So that was a bit of a long-winded explanation. But you can check out my written review on Goodreads. Oh, another book I'm currently reading. I'll switch to you guys. This is a, another I'm reading because of Chloe, Jamie, Caitlin. <laughs> um, I'm reading The Deal by Elle Kennedy. They've been all over my bookstagram and all over my Goodreads. Um, definitely, I, I want to say more so Goodreads as opposed to Bookstagram, but either way, I've seen them on both. Then I saw like Chloe, Jamie, and Caitlin talking about it, and I was like, I'm just gonna have to get on the bandwagon. Bag what? I'm just gonna have to get on the bandwagon and read it. Let me tell you. Um, now I don't have a Kindle, um, but I was doing some research. I went onto like the Apple Books app. The deal is free. I don't know if this is a limited time offer, I don't know, I don't know if it's permanently free, but if you want to read The Deal by Elle Kennedy, go get it now on Apple Books because it's free. You do not have to pay a cent, it literally says get, you click that, you download it, you're good to go. You got it on your phone, you got it on Apple Books forever. So I downloaded it on my phone and the iPad. And then another book that the girls mentioned is The Chase by Elle Kennedy. And I've also heard that's very good, and that was also free. So really... We stay winning here. We stay winning. I have no complaints. The deal is also very quick to read, very easy to like breeze through. You cannot see crackers. But yeah, I'm on page 108. I'm 16% done. So, but I'm excited to continue reading it and see what happens. But essentially, if you don't know what it's about, it's about this um, boy named Garrett. He is a hockey player at college and he's failed his midterm. I think it was midterm. It was like a paper that they had to do. And then there's the girl Hannah, who didn't fail. <laughs> um, and so he wants her to tutor him. And she hasn't said yes just yet. Um, so it's quite a slow burn. I'm very excited to continue reading it. I've got two other books that I want to show you guys. These are comic, graphic novel, I'd say more so comic. Um, check please. This is check please. Oh, that's book two. This is what I want to show you. This is check please. Book one, hockey. Um, this was so cute. Like, I loved this so much. I read it over a very short period of time. It was so fun. Like, I love the characters so much. Like, Biddy and Jack. Um, and I also love all the side characters too. Like, everyone is just so cute and just, yeah. I loved this. So if I had to pick up the second one. So I'm also currently reading this. These are quite long, these comics actually. Like they're in the hundreds, the pages. This is like 200 plus actually. Thoroughly enjoying this. This is Check Please Book 2, Sticks and Scones or Scone. And yeah, I'm loving it. I would try to say the name, but I feel like I'm going to really butcher the author's name. Also reading the second one at the moment, which I'm pretty sure I'm going to finish rather soon. I'm on chapter 5, page 173. I love the illustrations, I love the characters, I love the story. Like, it's just so cute and so wholesome, you just can't go wrong. And this is the second and final book, so it's just like a duology. It's just the two. But yeah, I'm also reading this at the moment. Um, and I would absolutely recommend if you're looking for something light-hearted and easy to read in between novels. So yeah, that is all my reading 
plans, what I'm currently reading and everything at the moment. Um, but yeah, sorry for all the chatting. Um, I had a lot to say, a lot to update you guys on. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I am just going to end it here in case I don't get any other footage. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to see more of me or more of my videos, please do subscribe. I'll also have a link to all my socials down below, um, along with my Goodreads and my bookstagram. But yeah let me know if there's any content or videos that you would like to see me do whether it's um like non-bookish related or if it's book related i'm open to your ideas and i shall see you in my next video bye guys <laughs>
if you want to go check that out uh, and follow me on there you absolutely can so yes um so the book that i read after my policeman was this oh my gosh yes 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 normal people by sally rooney was this book amazing chef's kiss yeah i just i love this book so much um i did annotate oh please excuse my chip nails i'm painting them tonight i'll probably show you guys but i did annotate okay it's not focusing i did annotate this as well um i'm pretty sure i spoke about this in the last clips but um i annotated my policeman and then i was like I'm, i wasn't gonna annotate this but i started reading i was like i need to i relate to marianne too much like not to annotate so yeah i'm not going to be annotating every single book just like a few here and there so i haven't annotated any books that i've read since this but yeah i love this book so much oh it was just stunning like so good isabella <laughs> if you're watching um she was like you need to read this like she loved this and i was like we pretty much have the same taste so i was like i know i'm gonna love it and i did and then i watched the show which was fantastic i actually didn't watch the show when it came out and i'm so glad i didn't because i actually got to read the book first and then watch the show and the show was incredible like so well done it was literally a carbon copy of the book it was amazing but not surprised the cast were fantastic and then sally rooney was a producer on the show anyway so go pick this up it's amazing i love sally rooney's writing also if you hear me saying stunning exactly no offense and doing this with my hands one of my favorite booktubers is chloe books with chloe um and i love her friendship group with like jamie and kevin and caitlin and so i've just pretty much adopted everything all of their like slang and words that they say into my everyday life and it's just like a natural reflex now so yeah go check out their channels i'll actually link them below um they're some of my favorite booktubers and chloe absolutely love this she spoke about it in a vlog and i think kevin read it as well caitlin read it as well and i'm pretty sure jamie did too and they absolutely raved about it and i was like well i need to read it and also isabella was telling me to read it so um <laughs> here we are so absolutely love it stunning see there it is let's count how many times i say that in this video so anyway the book i read after normal people is kingdom of the wicked by carrie maniscalco oh stunning stunning like like literally speechless this is one of the fav my favorite books now one of the best books I've ever read. One of the best books I've read of 2021. Stunning. Five stars. Like I said before, you can go to my Goodreads, check out my full review of this. This, okay, first of all, the cover. The foiling is absolutely stunning. And then the underneath the dust jacket, it's just, oh, I'll just show you. It's just like purple and black, with, <laughs> which I love. And then the gold foiling. Also love a book that has a map. Love a book that has a map. Let me know, actually. Let me know. If you have any books that have maps in them, like in the covers, um, more like underneath the cover. <laughs> if you have any books that have maps in them, please let me know what your like favorite one is. Cause I'd love to like look them up and have a look at myself. Um, because I just think having like a map in the book is so, it's just a atmospheric. Is that, I guess what I mean? Like it just adds to the book, um, and the experience anyway love this book so much i felt like i really resonated with it and related to it a lot um, especially amelia me being italian myself like i felt transported to palermo i felt like i was there it's a magical book it's so beautifully written like the storyline the world building the characters like everything is amazingly fleshed out that like you feel like you're there with these characters and on their journey with them and yet like i just I really connected to Amelia. I've got the same necklace as her, being Italian. And just like the food and like everything, I was like, yes. Also, when I started reading it, I was like, I want ricotta cannoli now. Uh, when Amelia first mentioned them, I was like, oh, I could really go with ricotta cannoli. So I actually went up to the Italian shop. Um, it's like a shop with a cafe in it near my house. And I got some ricotta cannoli and they're really good. I also actually want to make them myself. So if I do, I'll probably do a video on that like I did when I made the brownies from Pages & Co. I'll probably do a video 
like making the cannoli from Kingdom of the Wicked. Yeah, literally got me craving all the food. And also, also craving going to Italy. But this is the closest I'm going to get at this stage. <laughs> but yeah, I absolutely love this book. There's actually a character in this book that is like has the same name as me. So Claudia, Amelia's friend. That's my name. And then the Nanda's name, Maria, is actually my mum's name. So it's just crazy, like, how, like, I don't know, like, how relatable and, like, how similar, <laughs> I guess, um, I felt this book. Because um, going into it, I didn't know there was a character named Claudia and I didn't know there was a character named Maria. So that was really exciting when I read it and I got to it and I was like, oh, it's me. But yeah, like I definitely felt like I related to Claudia as well. Like there are definitely similarities and things that I saw in her that I see in myself. And like same with Amelia, um, there was a lot that I saw in her that I see in me. And even with Victoria as well, I saw stuff in her that I see in me too. So it's just for me, like I related to a lot of the characters. And the love interest, Wrath, he's a prince of hell. Stunning. Like, oh, just quite frankly gorgeous. Um... Amelia and Rath, the banter, the chemistry, like, the tension, like, it's just so good. Oh, they're meant for each other. And, like, you know when it's, like, enemies to lovers and then they're forced to work together, you know, for the greater good, to combat this evil? Oh, that's even better. Um, so absolutely stunning. Love this. So excited for book two. Book two is actually coming out in October. Um, this came out last year, but I only read it this year, so I actually don't have to wait that long between books. And then I think it's becoming a trilogy, which is very exciting. Um, and the second book, the author's actually said is more new adult as opposed to young adult because there'll be more between like Amelia and Wrath. So a bit more um, romance and I guess expanding and discovering their relationship a bit more. Yeah, I'm so excited. I mean, I love this series so much. So yes, I would 100% recommend reading this. Um, just feel the magic. Be transported to Palermo. And yeah, absolutely love it. So, oh, and if you're interested, if you're a fellow Australian and would like the hardcover, I got this from Booktopia. In a lot of bookstores that I went to, I just mainly saw the paperback. And I'm so glad I got the hardcover because, oh, it's stunning. And there's just something about a hardcover. So, yeah, that is that. Okay, next book that I read is this beautiful book. <laughs> Um, Tim Tomato and the Subterranean Heartsick Blues by H.S. Valley. I had actually never seen anything about this book prior to me seeing it and buying it. I'd never seen it advertised anywhere on like book-ish uh, forms of social media. So like never saw it on Bookstagram, BookTok, Book Twitter. never seen it on Goodreads. Like I just haven't seen anyone talking about it. But I went to Dimox like... Oh, this is a few weeks ago now because I've read this. <laughs> but I went because I had to pick up a book I ordered. And then I saw this in the new releases YA section. And I was like, oh, that is really eye-catching. Just like the cover and the illustrations. Like how attractive, how stunning are our characters? This is Tim and this is Elliot. But like, I'm just, I'm sorry. And then the back. Oh, stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. So yeah, I saw it in the new release and I'm like, let me take a photo, look at it when I get home, see what's it out, see if anyone's talking about it, and then I'll see if I want to get it. Looked it up. Decided I needed to have it. <laughs> so when I went back to the city and I went into box, I picked it up. And I'm so glad I did. Uh, literally, this was like Kingdom of the Wicked. I read it over a few days. Couldn't put it down. Stunning. Love this book. This has also now become a favourite of mine. Oh, so good. Like, I just... This um, is the author's first book. It's her debut, which is very exciting. So this is actually set in New Zealand. I realised that I didn't give much away about normal people <laughs> or say really anything that it was about. Same for Kingdom of the Wicked. I didn't really say much of what was going on or what it was about. Because, like, I don't want to give away too much. Even though it's in the blurb, I don't want to give away too much. And I'm going to do the same with this. Yeah, like, I want you guys to go read it. Enjoy it. Kind of go into it not knowing too much. This is, like, Enemies to Lovers. If you want to see my full review, once again, you can go to Goodreads. Stunning. Oh, such a good read. Um, I love Tim and Elliot. They're literally so cute. So wholesome, this book. So wholesome. Um, so fun. Such an enjoyable read. And like, once again, the banter, the tension, like the chemistry between our two enemies. Stunning. Just so fun. 
really really enjoyed it um absolutely recommend this if you're looking for an easy wholesome cute fun read um so yeah absolutely been loving my romance and fantasy lately okay now we're going to move on to my currently reading well actually i'm going to start it today <laughs> but this is it the atlas six by olivier mm. olive mm. olivier blake i'm really sorry i know i've said that wrong I'm so excited to read this. Literally so excited. It is everywhere. Like especially on book Twitter, everyone is talking about this and I'm just like, okay, I have to read it. I have to know what the fuss is about. So I had to get this on the Australian Amazon because let me tell you, this is not existent in bookstores. It is so hard to find in bookstores. And also the other book that I'm gonna be talking about, which is on my September TBR, also had to get on Amazon because non-existent in bookstores. And I actually believe that this book and the other one I'm going to tell you about have been published through Amazon's publishing company so that's why it's so hard to find and it's mainly just an Amazon buy. So yeah I really love the cover by the way. The illustrations are really nice but yeah uh, I have read the blurb. There's kind of like a lot of information in this blurb so there's a lot to take in so I'm not going to read the blurb again <laughs> prior to reading it today. Um, I'm just going to kind of go straight into it um, and the story will unfold and I will understand as I read. But yeah, I'm gonna start this today, so this will be my currently reading. I'm really excited to read it. I'll obviously update you guys as I'm going to let you know my thoughts, what I think of it. I've already chosen my bookmark for it. Stunning. Oh, yeah, there it is, it's a focus. This is where it's from. There we go, that's the brand. So yeah, that's that. Okay, so now we're going on to my September TBR. At the moment, I have three books on my September TBR. These three books I was also hoping to read in August. <laughs> but that was very ambitious. So, yeah, The Atlas Six is my third book for August. Um, so I just decided to move these other three books into September. I'll probably maybe add another one, but at this stage, these are the main books I want to read. First, So first we have It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. This is a romance. I believe this is a new adult um when i bought it it wasn't in the ya section so i'm fairly certain this is a new adult romance um i'm very excited to read this i'm sure you guys have heard about it seen it online literally it's online everywhere uh everyone's obsessing over this um everyone's also obsessing over atlas <laughs> i know the atlas six i mean everyone hold on i just realized the i I'm pretty sure this is a uh, romance too, like there's a love interest, and I think Atlas is a love interest in this. Because <laughs> the name, yeah, the mysterious Atlas Blakely, Bla Blakely. So there's Atlas in this, then the love interest in this is also Atlas. So there's something about the name Atlas I'm getting. Anyway, this has got rave reviews, everyone loves it, and I was like, I just, I think I need to get it and read it. So yeah i'm really excited to give this a read i like the cover as well i love the colors like the purples and pinks so yes i think this is like the fictional boyfriend of the moment um so yeah i'm very excited to read that next book is another one that i've been hearing a lot about and i've also um seen a lot about the love interest in this and he's also the, another fictional boyfriend of the moment so his name is Aaron Aaron Blackford now this was the other book I had to get on Amazon because literally not existed in bookstores she's thick like she a big book but yeah this is the Spanish Love Deception by Elena Armas really excited to read this I once again heard great things about it and yeah I'm just in my romance fantasy not that this is fantasy about like the Atlas 6 Kingdom of the Wicked like I'm just in my romance fantasy bubble um, so yeah, really excited to give this a read. And then, the third book that I am going to, hopefully, I'm sure that I'm going to be able to read all three of these, but the third book of my September TBR is Last Chance Books by Kelsey Rodkey. I got the hardcover of this, I ordered it through Dimox. Um, and if you're curious, it's just white with red. And I really love that, I think that's so nice. When I read the hardcovers, I always take, I always take the dust jack off. Uh, but the illustration is so cute. I actually know like a little bit about this, so I'm very excited. But it's enemies to lovers, so it's romance. I'm really excited. I've seen quite a few people on book talk doing videos, like where they will talk about an experience, and then they'll be like, 
if you want to know more, read this particular book. So at first they like pretend it's about them and then they say, if you want to know more, read this book. So I've seen a few people do it for this book. So I'm really excited to give it a read. This is probably the one I know the most about. So I will tell you about this one briefly. But essentially, this girl here, her family owns a bookstore and then the boy, so enemies to love it. His family opens up a bookstore just across the road and it's a bit of like a rivalry, a bit of competition. But she's like, damn, he's really cute. And so it's a bit of enemies to lovers. Um, and it's like set in like bookstore vibes. So yes, so I'm really excited to read that. And at this stage, they are my main reading plans for September. There were two other books. I haven't got them. So I haven't put them on my TBR yet. But I was either going to add People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry or Beach Read by Emily Henry. So, because I've been hearing a lot about those books and I feel like they'd be really nice considering we're going into spring. Like I said, I haven't got them, but they might go on my TBR. But let me get through these first. <laughs> so, yes. Anyway, I might actually make a start on editing this and then I'm going to start the Atlas 6. And then I will update you guys once I've read a bit to let you know my thoughts. But yeah, I'm very excited to see what all the hype and fuss is about. Let me know, by the way, if you've read any of these books that I mentioned. Let me know what's on your September TBR. But yes, I'll catch you in my next vlog clip. Yeah. Oh, 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 one more thing before I forget. I've got a reading bullet journal. I started it back in June. Yeah, maybe late May, early June. So let me know if you'd like to see any videos on that uh, when I do spreads for it, when I fill it in. I've just done my September spread. I pretty much finished it. I just got like another page to do. But I'm really excited about it. Um, and it's so nice to just like look back and see the books I've read. Um, but yeah, if you'd like to see any videos on that, let me know. But yeah, I'm going to go edit then read. And I'll be back in, back in with you guys. No, I'll check back in with you guys <laughs> later. Hello, this is future editing Claudia just popping in. Um, I actually didn't pick up my camera anymore after that last clip, so um, I'm just here for me an outro. So if you enjoyed this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of me, more of my videos, then please do subscribe. Um, but yeah, I trust you all in my next video. I hope you're having a wonderful day or night wherever you are. And yeah, I will catch you guys later. Bye.